Dr. Sears, tell us how you, we just talked about the three-legged stool. Maybe you want to uh, go over that again and then tell us how it's easy to get into this zone, this health zone of the Mediterranean zone. Well, let's, let's talk about the benefits of being there. If you're yes. in that zone, you're going to live longer. You're going to basically have, you know, be more mentally sharp. You're going to basically have a, just a greater quality of life. Who doesn't want to be there? The question is, but how much effort does it take? And to get there and stay there on a lifetime basis, it requires only three things that most people carry with them wherever they go. One is a hand. The second is an eye. And the third is a watch. If you have those three things, you can get in that zone and stay there on a lifetime basis. Here are all the rules you have to follow. At every meal, divide your plate into three equal sections. For that, you need an eye. On one-third of the plate, you put some low-fat protein. It could be of, you know, of fish, chicken. If you're vegetarian, it could be soybean imitation meat products. Okay. But how much? The amount you can fit on the palm of your hand. Some hands are bigger than others, but no more protein on the plate that can fit on the palm of your hand. Now, what about the other two-thirds of the plate? You fill it full of colorful carbohydrates. They're called fruits and vegetables. And finally, you add a dash. How much is that? A small amount. A dash of monounsaturated fat that's either olive oil or guacamole. Oh, I now, like that. How do you know you're, how do you know if you're successful? Now you need the watch. You look at your watch. And if you balance your plate correctly, for the next five hours, you will have no hunger and peak mental acuity. Hmm. That's the good news. It's easy. Here's, how, here's the bad news. You got to do it the best you can every time you open your mouth the rest of your life. That that, that makes it easy, kind of. I think <laughs> it's, it's not that hard, and, and that's why people of you know this is why the zone I said is not a diet; it's a blueprint. Okay, it's basically a diet that fits into every dietary philosophy. You can have the of uh, vegan paleo uh, zone, or you know. So say let's say you're a vegan. Fine. It says this. these different philosophies only tell you what type of proteins you can eat. If you're a vegan, you're going to be eating uh, only uh, plant sources of protein. That's why tofu imitation meat products are probably the best source. Okay. If you're a lacto-ovo-vegetarian, you have a little more leeway. You can basically add some dairy and egg products. If you're a paleo advocate, you have to restrict your protein choices, saying no dairy, no legumes. And if you're following the Mediterranean zone, you have an unlimited palette of protein to work from. So, again, all these different dietary philosophies really basically come down to one simple aspect, hand, eye, watch. And if you've done it right, you've got the keys of the kingdom.